Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and it's time for my second advent video. This is the 3rd of December and I will be opening my next book, letting you know what it is as well as opening my third day on my other two advent calendars and then I will be coming back to you with a review of this book in a couple of days time so let's see what it is. Okay, so in a complete departure from my first book, if you've watched my first video, which I'll link up here, this is a completely different type of book, I should think, and that is Krampus the Yule Lord by Brom, and this was gifted to me by my lovely daughter for my birthday this year, so I think this is going to be a little bit of a horror story. We shall see. Um, it says that it is um, about, it's set in West Virginia, and it's about this devilish figure chasing a man in red towards a sleigh and eight reindeer. When the reindeer leaps skyward, taking the sleigh, devil men and Santa into the clouds, screams follow. Moments later, a large sack plummets to earth, a magical sack that thrusts the down on his luck singer into a clutches of a terrifying Yule Lord Krampus. But he lines between good and evil become blurred as Jesse's new master reveals many dark secrets about the cherry-cheeked Santa Claus, including how half a millennium ago the jolly old Santa imprisoned Krampus and usurped his magic. Now Santa's time is running short for the Yule Lord is determined to have his retribution and reclaim Yuletide. This sounds fun. I hope it's not too scary. The front cover does make it look scary, but I'll let you know at the end of this video. I'm running out of battery, so let's quickly go through the beauty calendar for this, uh, for today. I've so far had a really nice lipstick, which you would have seen, and then on day two I got a black uh, liquid eyeliner, and today is, ooh, Scalp Detox. This is an exfoliating pre-wash treatment by Grow, Grow Gorgeous. This will be great for me. I wonder if it's good for, um yeah it's great for your impurities that block the pores and disrupt disrupt hair and scalp health i do struggle sometimes with dandruff and um sore scalp so i'm gonna try this this sounds lovely let's have a sniff hold on oh it smells smells okay we'll see and then secondly my marshmallow calendar let's go for day three Yesterday I had a s'mores one, which was very nice. It was sort of chocolatey and, oh, this one's a white one. Oh my goodness, this is cinnamon. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. That was a cinnamon one. Yeah, I really like that one. That was a winner. So I'll check back on with you in a minute to let you know my thoughts on Krampus. Okay, so I've just finished Krampus by Brom and it was much better than I was expecting. I was expecting, given the front cover of this, given the synopsis, I was thinking it was going to be a horror. And this ended up being much more of a fantastical story. It reminded me very much of um, the feel in terms of its sort of dark satirical humour to Horns uh, by Joe Hill. It had that feel about it for me. We're following our main character, Jesse. He's a bit of a loser. He's been living in this trailer, his wife and daughter have left him, he can't get himself together, he's a small time petty criminal, although he doesn't really want to be doing that, he's forever saying he's going to make something of his music and doesn't, and just really a bit of a no-hoper. And then all of a sudden, um, Santa's sack literally lands in his lap, and he's thrust into this um, millennial fight between Santa and Krampus and Krampus is painted as this sort of dark Yule Lord and Santa obviously as the happy jolly ch chap that we know him of and we just follow how he becomes embroiled in this sort of war between the two of them and how there is a blurring of lines between good and evil and how what we think is evil isn't always evil and sometimes it's misunderstood um, and then we follow his sort of trying to form a relationship or or 
we come back into his ex-wife and his daughter's life and it's all set over sort of a one or two night period I think it's about two nights I think and I just really enjoyed it it was a bit of a, a romp it was a bit of a dark um satirical story there was some really good looks at religion and there was these sort of fantastical objects like Santa's sack which um, you, know, you can reach into and pull all sorts of things out and we have a, a very brief sort of um, nod towards um, current day um, adolescence uh, well in general how people are obsessed with their things like televisions and iPads and Xboxes and yeah I just I really enjoyed this way more than I thought I would I thought I was gonna be scared and that I was gonna really hate it and I was gonna really struggle but I really enjoyed it and um, I was toying between giving it four stars but I think it's probably more like three stars um, it, it it was good and it captured my attention enough but I did find myself like not skim reading it because I read every word but sort of fast reading it because there was times where I felt like the pacing was a little bit slower than others but yeah another sort of good read um one that I managed to read in the time scale so I'm really pleased with that so uh, I'm gonna go off and open the next one which is um day five and I will get back to you in a couple of days to let you know what that is and show you what I got on day five in my uh, marshmallow and my um, look fantastic beauty calendar. So that was Krampus and I hope you're all having a good December so far and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now booktube!